This is the Huawei MateBook X Pro, a laptop that many consider as a clone to Apple's MacBook Pro, but for reasons I don't understand. I mean, I'm not saying that they don't have some resemblance, but this computer is so much more than a clone. So much so that it's one of my favorite products of the year, and I know it's early. I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now, and if you want to learn why, join us for our full review, brought to you by Zooms I.O. Okay, so those of you who follow the channel know that one of the only reasons left for me to use a Mac is Final Cut Pro. I'm not saying that it's a better tool when compared to Premiere Pro or other video editing applications, but it's just the tool that I personally find most practical for our workflow. Thing is, Windows 10 has brought such a new breath to the PC market that I've been truly compelled to make a switch, but never have I been more convinced than in the last couple of months. The MateBook X Pro is a gorgeous piece of machinery. We have an aluminum build with machine finishes and beveled edges that just scream high quality regardless of where you look. We have a spacious and backlit keyboard that's seriously a joy to type on given its bouncy design, and it's also splash proof for clumsy people like me. Add a large trackpad that's really convenient for multi-touch gestures, with options for added gestures if you want to add volume controls and music controls as well, and there's even a crazy fast fingerprint scanner embedded in the power button. But as the infomercial would say, but wait, there's more. Tucked inside we have base specifications. Our unit sports an 8th generation Intel Core i7, discrete graphics from NVIDIA, 16GB of RAM, a 512GB solid state drive, and a 57.4 watt hour battery which Huawei claims to go up to 12 hours of video playback, and I've tested it, it is really good. Yes, this is the maxed out version, but if you think of all the punch this machine has for under 3 pounds, I don't think you'll find the more powerful and compact combination out there. Ports include USB-A on one side, a headphone jack along with a Thunderbolt 3 port taking up one of the two USB-C ports on the other, and the USB-C charger is seriously compact. But wait, there's more. Turn on the screen and this is what I'm talking about. We have a gorgeous 3K display that nearly kills the bezel at a 91% screen to body ratio. It's 3x2 aspect ratio with viewing angles covering 178 degrees. It goes as bright as 450 nits, and it is also touch sensitive if that's your thing. But wait, there's more. The speakers on this thing are phenomenal. We have a quad speaker array that's extremely loud. So much so that I find myself lowering the volume at times. To my favorite city in the world. I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket. Bass is not its stronghold, but they do support Dolby Atmos, so the combination of the speakers and the screen are definitely great for content consumption. There are even four microphones to help you conference in, even if far away, but wait, there's more. This computer runs Windows 10 Signature Edition, meaning there's very little bloat. There's pretty much just one Huawei application controlling the drivers, and that's it. Everything else is just as Microsoft intends, meaning a very fast and fluid experience all around that's really convenient for productivity and that boots in just under 8 seconds. And yes, there's also Huawei Share support for those of you that also have a Huawei phone. So right about now, I know you're asking yourself if this is just a fanboy piece designed to praise this computer, but you guys know me better. The answer is no. There's no such thing as a perfect product, and there are four things about this computer that I don't really like. The first is the auto brightness, which is extremely aggressive. I'd deactivate it altogether if I were you. This is kind of sad as I do rely on this on competing products, but it's really just a software update away, hopefully. The second is that it took me days to figure out why the fans went crazy every now and then. It turns out that Windows was having a hard time living in the small 100GB partition that Huawei gave it out of the box. Deleting the partition was actually not as hard as before with Windows. Just go into settings, delete and reassign. A big thanks to my buddy David Kogan from TheUnlocker.com for the tip, and voila, Windows now works great, and the fans rarely turn on now. Third, this trackpad is sensitive in things I don't need it to be. It's so large that it detects a ton of gestures I didn't intend, something you won't really struggle with the Olympic-sized pool of a trackpad on the MacBook Pro. 
And then there's the complete irony that even with the size of the trackpad, the left button has a very small area of sensitivity, which again, you don't deal with in other computers. Last but not least, the nose cam. Yes, this is not a webcam, it's a nose cam. I mean, I do praise the ingenuity of the placement. I do love that I can hide it when I want privacy, but the angle just completely kills it. Those of you that have other computers and are looking for privacy, I'd recommend that you have a look at the webcam covers provided by Zoom's I.O. They're easy to attach and easy to slide when you need to cover the camera, and you won't have to worry about the camera being in the wrong angle. All in all, even with its minor list of downsides, I can't lie, this is one of my favorite products of the year so far. Light to carry, elegant, powerful, and a delight to use for the most part. Again, not the perfect product, but definitely one I have no problem in recommending. We still don't know when it'll launch in the United States if it does or at what price, but I do hear that the company wants to be aggressive about it. Whatever the case may be, this is the Huawei MateBook X Pro. As I said at the beginning, a gorgeous piece of machinery. Let us know what you think in the comments down below, and while you're at it, make sure you follow us on social media and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.